Congratulations on the opening of Georgetown's new home in Doha. I'd like to thank His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa and Her Highness Sheikh Hamza bin Nazir for their tremendous support and their dedication to Georgetown's presence in Education City. Thank you for making this new facility a space of inquiry, innovation, and global learning. When we thought about what it would mean for Georgetown to be engaged in education in the Gulf, the, the most fundamental question that we asked, could we make a contribution to the formation of the future leadership of the region? We were creating a whole school, including all of the functions, and we were doing it at a tremendous speed. We've brought the curriculum, we've brought some of the faculty, we certainly brought the high standards and the high ambitions uh, to teach students here and produce the kind of students we produced in Washington, D.C. Georgetown was really my priority, my choice, because uh, I felt that it, it really fit with who I am as a person. I think having 200 years of education behind you, it gives you a good feeling because you feel like you have something to add to this great structure in a way that you can play a part in it and it's not just something that you're starting from scratch. It's about educating the whole person, it's about excellence in education. So I'm very confident in the, the standard of education I get at Georgetown. It's a key to many doors. One of the things that uh, we do is to ensure that our students are proactively engaged with the global issues that exist and unfold uh, around the world. They travel, they do, they do debate competitions, they go on service learning trips. I think these trips have given me a more realistic understanding of what the world is like today. I've got to understand things from the people who are affected by it. And Georgetown has taught me not just in the classroom or by professors or other students, but has taught me how to live like a man for others. One of the best things about Georgetown here in Qatar is the diversity amongst the student body. Um, the, the flags you see behind me represent each of the nationalities represented here in the student body. When I was a student at Georgetown and the School of Foreign Service, I was given the opportunity and the tools to think critically about our world's most pressing challenges and to come in contact with people very different from me, and yet not so different after all. What was uh, distinctive here was definitely the teaching. It's not like, um, here's the student and here's the professor and just give me what you know. I mean, there's interaction on both sides. And the facilities are definitely state of the art. I love the new building because it offers such an opportunity for Georgetown here in Qatar to grow. It will enable us to have more students, more professors, more classes offered. It's, it's great to hear students walk around and like, oh, I'm, I'm going to go pick that spot, this is my spot. It's great because they're taking ownership of the building, which is a great sign. It's great. I love, I love the place. There's enough space for every department. Uh, we don't feel like everything is rushed or everything is squeezed in, there's more space, and I think that would um, improve our work quality, um, the standards, and uh, I think it will also um, boost uh, our work ethic. It just uh, fills, I mean, every, every single Georgetown student, every Hoya with a sense of pride, and the building itself is a symbol of this pride. We hang out, we have a wonderful student lounge. It's, it's a wonderful environment because you're around the people that you study with, you're around your classmates, and so you get a chance to extend the debate and your uh, arguments and discussions outside the classrooms. We had an idea of what this might look like, and this has exceeded all of our expectations. It has been an incredible privilege for us to be a part of the work of the Qatar Foundation, the, the vision of Sheikh Amoza, I think in the long run of history, we may very well look back at Qatar as a real pace setter in the politics and economics of the 21st century, as an example of a country that was willing to use its moment of wealth, its moment of opportunity to invest in human transformation. Georgetown University's presence in the Middle East is something new, something different, and I think it is helping students be more open and at the same time by helping students be more open you're helping the region become more open.
I know what my life was like before Georgetown and how much it has changed positively after Georgetown. Jamia Georgetown is a better place for the people who want to study the political sciences in Doha and in the Middle East. Oh yes, exactly.